Why Deion Sanders' $30 million contract is a bargain for Colorado, when the University of Colorado announced its decision to hire Deion Sanders as its next head football coach, there was no shortage of critics. Sanders' only college coaching experience was a three-year stop at Jackson State University. His loud, no-nonsense approach led to an unprecedented 50-plus players leaving the program within his first few months on the job. And Colorado was on the hook for his five-year, $29.5 million contract, the richest contract in school history, no matter how he performed. In fact, the move was such a risk that Colorado didn't even have the money to pay Sanders, with the school's athletic director telling reporters he wasn't worried about it, but now needed to go out and raise the money from alumni and boosters. However, they did exactly that, and less than two years after Sanders' introductory news conference, everything has changed. There are still critics, of course. But Sanders has taken a team that won just one game the year before his arrival and turned it into a legitimate Big 12 title contender this season, Colorado is 6-2 on the season, making the Buffs Bowl eligible for the first time in nearly a decade. The team is also ranked number 21 in the latest AP Top 25 college football poll, and wide receiver and defensive back extraordinaire Travis Hunter is one of the favorites to win this year's Heisman Trophy. The combination of this success intertwined with Dion's personality has brought the school more attention than it could have ever imagined. Colorado's online team store sales were up 2,544% last year. The school's social media accounts have added more than a million followers over the past two years, and the Buffaloes played in five of college football's top 25 most-watched games last year, selling out every single home game. This alone justifies Sanders' five-year, $29.5 million contract. And the deal even starts to look like a bargain when you consider the downstream impact. You've probably heard that athletics are the front door to a university. The idea behind that phrase is that athletic success drives everything else, with increased exposure leading to more interest, more interest leading to more applications, more applications leading to more students, more students leading to higher tuition costs and, eventually, higher academic standards and an increase in revenue for the school. This is known as the Flutie effect. It started in 1984 when Boston College quarterback Doug Flutie successfully threw a Hail Mary on national television to beat the University of Miami. Boston College then saw a 20% jump in applications over the subsequent years, and there have been countless examples since.